coding made easy. So what's up everybody? This is Peter coming to you with another Java tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to be learning uh, getting user input. So let's say I, I'm a company and I'm like uh, um, somebody came to me and they're like Peter I want you to make the most awesome program in the world and I want this program has to get the user's name and it has to store the user's uh, age and uh, after we do that we're gonna sell millions we're gonna sell millions of copies just getting two pieces of data and you're like oh, okay awesome awesome I want to make millions of dollars so let's do it and you're like wait how do I do that um, I don't all I, all I know is variables all I know is to write stuff to the screen how do I get the user to enter that data and you're like oh now you just lost a million dollars that sucks but anyways I'm gonna be showing you how to make a million dollars by doing this simple program so anyways uh, like I told you Java is uh, Java is a very extensive language it has a bunch of a bunch of different methods and a bunch of different um, things that you can do with it and so it's not going to include that all at once because you're not going to utilize all the features of Java in one program and so it just gives you the bare bone basic features in the language and then you choose which other extended features you want to include in your program so in order to do that we use the import keyword so we say import Java um, Java dot util sorry dot util dot scanner I'm not sure why the tab is not working I thought it used to work um whatever now what this is saying is that it says okay go to the Java's utility library and get the scanner so we can use the scanner in order to get our user input user input so as I told you before, Java is an object-oriented programming language, meaning that you can create your own objects and create your own data types and so on and so forth. So just before, like we had an integer and we had a float and yada yada yada. Imagine you could create your own type that does its own functionality. When Java sees an integer, it says, okay, it can only take whole numbers. You could do integer um, operations. You could do n numerical operations, yada, yada, yada. When it sees a char, it says, okay, you can um, store a character in here. When it sees a Boolean, it says you can put in true and false. And it gives instructions as to what it could do. Now, you can even create your own custom objects or custom data types, so, so to say, that have its, their own functionality and you will learn about that in the future. But for now, Java has a built-in data type and it is called scanner. And uh, so imagine this is just like, yeah, the data type much like int, but this is called scanner. And we're gonna call this user input. And one thing that's new is we're gonna put the new keyword and we're gonna put scanner and we're gonna put system.in. Now, don't worry too much about the new keyword. Uh, it's just when you create your own custom data types, the new keyword is pretty important. And did I say new screen? Oh my gosh. New scanner, I meant. Now, when we say new scanner, it says, okay, we need to know what form of input you're giving us. Is it keyboard input, mouse input? Is it gonna be gamepad input? What's our type of input? And it says system in. So what is the what is plugged into our system? It is the keyboard. So we know we're gonna be getting keyboard input. And so uh, we want to make the most awesome program in the world, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say okay system dot out dot print line. So a good habit for programmers is to always prompt the user for what they're gonna do. So we're gonna say please enter your name. And oh, instead of using print line, what we're gonna do is use the print function, print method. Sorry, I'm used to saying function from C++. Uh, but the print method allows us uh, the print method, the print line. Sorry, whenever you print something, when you're done printing it, it will uh, the cursor will go to the next line. So whenever you write something else, it will start on a brand new line. When you do print, however, it doesn't work like that. Sorry about that. When you use print, 
it stays on the same line until it is told to go to a brand new line. So we, we want it to stay on the same line for, uh, for a reason. And I'm not sure why I got an error right here. Um, oh, I guess I just never figured it out yet. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a string variable. And I know I never went in a very extensive into the string variable. But basically what the string variable is, it is a collection of, collection of chars. Basically that's what a string is. And we'll go more in depth into it later. But we're going to say, uh, we're going to call this variable the name. And we're going to say name is equal to user input dot next line. And what does this do for me? Man, I don't know why the tab is not working. I might have to look into that. But what does next line, user input dot next line? So it says, okay, get, I'm going to enter some user input and it says next line. So it knows that I'm storing a string. And we're going to say, take this and store it in the variable called name. And so we're going to make a system out dot print again. And we're going to say please enter your age. And we're going to create a variable called age and we're going to say age equal to user input dot next int. So we use next line for strings and we use next int for ints and what do you think we use for double or float? So if we had a float age, we'd say user input and do, can you guess what it is? Next float. And as you can see, it is smart enough to notice that this is a float so it puts next float at the top. So it kind of aids you in, uh, in that way. And so we've stored our age and now to finish off our a million dollar program, we're going to say print line and we're going to say your name is and we're going to put the plus sign and look at this we can even put as much as we want and and you are age plus years old so it's going to say your name is wherever the name they entered and you are wherever your age is years old. And we're going to end that off with a semicolon. So I'm just going to click F11 to run this and we're going to say okay. So now we're going to scroll down and we're going to say it's going to say please enter your name. So I'm going to put Peter. It says please enter your age. I'm going to put 20. And it's going to say your name is Peter and you are 20 years old and voila you just made a million dollar program and you're gonna make a whole bunch of sales and you're gonna be rich so anyways that is it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it i hope you understand how to get user input and we'll be learning about if statements in the next tutorial so stay tuned and another video will be coming out within the next three hours so bye for now